My words of warning this evening after a Zionsville woman welcomed a contractor into her home only to find out he wasn't who he said he was. Our David McAnally tonight found that these fake landlords are a growing problem. Some Zionsville residents say they feel they've been scammed. They've picked up the phone, they've called a locksmith, and somebody's come out. But who was it? The key to home security is knowing your locksmith. Be aware. You know, this is you know, difficult times out there for a lot of people trying to scam everybody else. Contractor Jim Barber with Housework Zionsville had a client who needed a lock fixed. She called what she thought was a Zionsville locksmith. It was a 317 area code, so I knew I had the right phone number. The locksmith came out to her house. He did the work, but for four times what she expected. And then when he handed her the receipt, it didn't have a name on it. It just seemed funny to her. So she called the same number that she had booked the appointment with, and she talked to the Zionsville locksmith. But guess what he told her? And he said, I didn't send anybody out. And I said, what? He said, ah, oh, you got scammed again. He said, this has happened to me several times. And then I start panicking, thinking this guy has been in my house. Anyway, so I asked the gentleman to leave. So I told her, I said, you know, you should probably get all your locks changed properly so that in the event that the person who got the numbers and changed the locks, that, you know, they probably have something going on where they can get into the house later on. Far-fetched? This is a programmer uh, for uh, automotive keys. David Carrington with Papa Lock says he's yeah, had that problem too, that. somebody doing business using his company name and number. Uh, somehow phone calls are getting intercepted and rerouted to uh, scammers. And uh, unfortunately, um, we end up getting complaint calls after the fact for uh, work that's been done poorly and very highly priced. One locksmith told us that it cost him three-fourths of his business. How to protect yourself? Ask for business cards and ID and look for a marked van. So this is the, the PAL tracking. At Papa Lock, it shows the uh, locksmith. This is Matt Jones. Um, shows his face, his truck. A quick note from Matt saying that he's on his way and the quoted price, which will never change. Checking credentials. I would just encourage customers, customers to do that before you let anybody in your house. Zionsville police say they have not had any reports from consumers about this kind of practice, but it's a good idea, advocates say, to make that complaint, get it on file with the police. Back to you.